Hey guys, this is Matt. Uh, today I have a little treat for you guys. I have an infected computer here. It's got a lot of uh, potentially unwanted programs, which a lot of you guys I'm sure are familiar with. And if we look at Task Manager, we can see, let's see, I know I saw some weird stuff like this guy right here. This randomly generated EXE. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff I'm not familiar with here. So I thought today we'd go ahead and take a look at the latest MSISoft, which is uh, MSISoft Anti-Malware 12. I, have, I, of course, like always, I never plan anything. I didn't plan this. I just figured I've got a half hour before a client shows up and I might as well get something going. <clears throat> so, um, again, once again, I'm typing around my mic here. M -Sci soft. So we're going to do a search via this infected browser. And when I say infected, I mean it's infected with things like Ask, which gets installed kind of silently. Uh, it's it's usually part of uh, bundleware. You know, we're installing a program and then other software gets installed with it uh, silently. And you're just not, you're like, whoa, where did that come from? That kind of thing. So, all right. MSISoft Anti-Malware. No bloat. Dual scanner protection for your Windows PC. Let's go ahead and download it and uh, turn on some settings. Crank it up. They do not... To require an email to download, which is very nice of them. Uh, everybody loves MSISoft right now. Uh, they make some really good stuff. So once I'm done uh, running the scan with MSISoft, I will use the Kaspersky Rescue Disk, a bootable Linux environment, to check and see if anything was kind of left over. You can never be sure your computer's totally clean. I have zero clue what these random uh, executables are doing like this guy. He's very busy. He's sucking up a lot of CPU. Um, could be logging my keystrokes when I log into my bank account, that kind of thing. Um, who knows? So, could be recording this conversation. We just don't know. And you don't know... If the scanners have missed something, the only surefire way to be totally malware clean once you've been infected is to reload your PC from scratch. That's it. So this is taking uh, quite a while here. I'll probably have to download it on uh, another computer and move it over. Got it. Okay. And it's just a result of this this machine being infected. Um, it is a virtual machine. If I go to my host machine, this will come down in, in no time. So we kind of minimize that. I'll pause this for a second. Okay, so uh, like I said, it did download in a flash on my um, physical, physical computer, my non-virtual computer. So we're back in the virtual machine, and I bet it's still trying to download. If, yep, it is. If we take a look at that random EXE, you know, maybe he's blocking that download. I don't know. Probably. So we may have to kill that EXE just to, you know, update this guy. And uh, I should say something also, by the way. This is not in any way like uh, a controlled test or a scientific test. I have no clue what malware has downloaded on here. I loaded maybe four Trojans and let them go to work, and I got all this stuff. <clears throat> all right. We will try for 30 days free. We'll join the network. Why not? And I want to do some ransomware videos soon. Um, but I have so many things 
video wise on my plate. I actually created a calendar just to stay on target with my videos. You probably noticed in the last two weeks that I've been putting out more videos. Uh, normally, it's like a month b between my videos, um, just because I'm pretty busy. But I've scaled all that back now, and I'm just pumping out as many videos as I can. So I'm trying to work on things like not saying um and uh and hmm. Which are so hard. It's so hard to to not do that. I really uh, admire radio people now when I listen to them. I listen to Stern every day, and uh, I just said, "Oh, let's see, shit." Anyway, last update zero minutes ago. I just want to do one more, and then I'm gonna go into settings and take a look at these. I've never seen version twelve. I have no idea what's in here. Let's do a custom scan. Yeah. Alright, well let's just do a full scan. We'll scan C. It's going to scan for rootkits. Uh, scan memory for malware. Malware traces. Pups. I'm not crazy about that. That can really take a long time. and it's mm. For this video, I'm going to turn that off. Uh, scan NTFS alternate data streams. No idea what the hell that actually means. And I'll sit, sit. I'll hit uh, next. And right away, it's detected. Oh, a piss load of stuff. <laughs> oh wow. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, at this point, I think I'll just go ahead and pause it. Because my customer is going to be coming over soon, and it's a new guy I got to meet, so I'll be back. All right, that was a super duper fast scan uh, for a C drive. That's amazing. It only took a few minutes. Uh, it found 25 items, and they were a real deal. You know, some pops and some Trojans. We'll go ahead and say quarantine just to be on the safe side always. All right, we have a .sys, a driver file, so like a rootkit or something like that. So the following, obj the following objects were not removed for your own safety. Just total crap right here. This is a, you know, you can tell it's malware. It's just randomly generated file name. Some detections cannot be removed. A computer restart is uh, required. So we'll go ahead and do the restart, and we'll... Do another scan real quick. Um, we'll be right back. All right, just started back up, and we've got some stuff. Behavior alert. So this webcompanion.exe, which I did not load. Program is attempting to download data invisibly. We'll quarantine. Uh, program is attempting to modify an auto run. No idea what the hell that is. This is their behavior, uh, you know, blocker or alerting system. Uh, we'll go ahead and say quarantine. Uh, again, another program I didn't load. K9 PC protector quarantine. All right, so let's load up MSISoft anti-malware again. Let's do another scan. We'll do a custom scan, scanning for all this stuff. Um, this time, since it was so fast, I'll leave on compressed archives. And we'll hit uh, next, and we'll do another scan. Man, let's see what we get. I should also throw in here that uh, MSISoft currently does not offer a bootable um, rescue disk, which is a bummer. I don't know why they can't strike a deal with some, you know, some Linux distro that 
would have this awesome software. Uh, so yeah, so right now they do not offer it. So anyway, you're stuck with scanning in Windows, which is meh. It's good, but in the end, it's sort of pointless because you know we've got this uh, this rootkit here that's downloading way more stuff already. You know, I just rebooted and it's already downloading this stuff. So MSIsoft is pretty kick ass for making big dents, kind of like malware bytes is. But in the end, um, you're going to have to rely on a bootable scanner. I don't even really need to do a cleanup with uh, Kaspersky because MSISoft is really just detecting the same things over and over again. And it will not remove this uh, driver and therefore I'll remain um, infected over and over again. So now... You know, obviously, if I'm working on a client's computer, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and boot up to something like uh, the Kaspersky Rescue Disk or the Bitdefender Rescue Disk and just remove that crap. No doubt. Um, so. Uh, let's see what it says this time, though. It's still got a ways to go because we're scanning in, um, archives. All right. My customer came and went, so now I'm back here. All right, so it found a lot of stuff. Looks pretty serious. Let's go ahead and say delete selected this time and see what happens. And it won't do it. Uh, it they do give you some advice. Uh, it deletes, you know, some things, uh, but not uh, this particular rootkit, this driver file, this .sys file. So if I click that, what does it tell me to do if I just bought this program and I want to get rid of this thing? What will this link help me do? Well, it takes me to a generic page where I can get email support, you know, forum support. But in the end, I'm still way infected. So anyway, great program. Uh, useful for like a, you know, a second, third opinion. If you're running it, um, in real time, you paid for a license, all that good stuff, and your computer was not infected, we'll have to see how it does on blocking stuff. I, if I remember the old version, which is 11, was fantastic at blocking stuff. So, anyway, uh, I'm Matt. If you like this video, please uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, um, share. If you want to support me in Patreon, uh, on Patreon. Uh, there's a link in the video as well. Okay, guys. Talk to you later.